Here is what these elite smugs think of the common man. You are going to think I made the below up. I did not. The problem with overly leonizing the voice of the common voter is that average citizens often ask questions in open-ended fashion like, what are your views on education? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, who wants to know stuff like that? The New Republic pretends not to understand why people representative of everyday voters are the best to question candidates. The way these censors see it, it is better to have a bunch of out-of-touch woke Nazis who call themselves journalists ask questions, questions that are never questions but tripwires designed to give the Democrat opposition talking points, ammunition, and campaign commercials. The New Republic does not even hide the fact that it wants the common man silenced because Trump looked good last week. But make no mistake, these fascists would say the same if any Republican did that well during a televised town hall. More. But in an era of accelerating hyperpartisanship and vicious attacks on the news media, allowing a peanut gallery at such events only indulges our worst tribal instincts. That's why the networks, broadcast and cable alike, should conduct their candidate interviews and debates in TV studios rather than trucking in disruptive crowds. Get it? We are just a bunch of children, a peanut gallery, a bunch of tribal savages for expressing our support for what a candidate believes and are discussed with stupid gotcha questions from the likes of a mental midget like CNN's Kaitlin nurse Ratchet Collins. Get a load of this, I, T was CNN's decision that none of the questioners came from the ranks of never-Trump Republicans and independents who can easily be found among New Hampshire voters. Who else would you invite to a town hall during a Republican primary? And let us not forget that another word for never-Trump Republican is Democrat. Here we go again, as soon as Democrats face a setback, leftists like the New Republic immediately demand more and more and more censorship. First, they want everyday Americans silenced and censored on social media, and now they do not even want us to be allowed to question our own candidates. You see, according to the New Republic Gestapo, only Z big media corporations will ask Z questions. Not Z people. Z people cannot be trusted to ask Z appropriate and Z accepted questions. The far left outlet attempts to dandy up its unceasing calls for censorship as good for democracy, but anyone with half a brain can see what is happening here. As is always the case, because Democrats cannot win with their terrible ideas, the playing field must be rigged. These are awful, evil, un-American, and dangerous people.